if this polarizing rhetoric continues, it begins to make Muslims feel like they're on another side, and then it's a very different problem. And, and Willie, we and certainly saw sure. that this weekend, uh, uh, talking more talk of Muslim bans, um, more talk of, of exclusion, uh, more, more talk again that, that has made many people believe, from Donald Trump, many people believe that a lot of his words, a lot of his rhetoric, actually is playing into the ISIS playbook. As we started our coverage yesterday morning, we heard from Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Donald Trump's first tweet, anyway, was relatively measured by his standard thoughts and prayers for victims and things like that. But as the day went on, he talked again about the Muslim ban. He's going to talk about it today and this week. He's apparently going to double again, down this, on that. Again, there's a guy born, born in America. But this is in reaction to Omar Mateen. The shooter yesterday was born in New York, and he lived in Florida. He's a United States so citizen, so no wall would have kept him out. try and prop up the Muslim ban and, and royal hatred, even though it has no connection at all. And he's